Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'm coming to you from the Firebase Dev Summit in Berlin. This is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. Android 7.1 Developer Preview is now available on Firebase Test Lab virtual devices. Firebase Test Lab for Android allows you to test your apps and ensure their compatibility with multiple device configurations across OS versions, screen orientations, and locales. The latest updates and getting started tips are available on the post, linked in the description below. For more Firebase updates, take a look at this great roundup post with all the details from the Firebase Dev Summit. And while you're at it, also take a look at the playlist of sessions from the Summit now on YouTube. Both of those are also linked below. With the release of Android Studio 2.2, the time has come to say goodbye to the Eclipse Android developer tools. We have formally ended their support and development, which means there's never been a better time to switch to Android Studio and experience the improvements we've made to the Android developer workflow. For the latest updates and links, check out the post. The original Bigtable paper entitled Bigtable, a distributed storage system for structured data, has received the SIGOPS Hall of Fame award, which is really cool. For a link to the paper and to get started with Bigtable today, head on over to the post. The latest episode of the Mobile Ads Garage is all about ad events. Check it out to see how to tap into the ad lifecycle so your app's informed of loads, click-throughs, and other key events. You'll also get a detailed breakdown of the steps that occur in the life of an ad, uh, info about which classes and callbacks to use for common tasks, and a real-world example of how to put it all together. Make sure to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Developer Show. For some of our past episodes, click here or here.